Um, this is a spinoff of a Q&A, and I want to explain um, public and private for people so that it is entirely clear because it's critical. What man has done is created public side opportunities, a public citizen, U.S., public funds, uh, the, the dollar, private funds are gold. Um, let me uh, grab something real quick. And, um, and, you know, we have uh, private entities and they have public registered entities. Um, you have a private live born record. They have a birth certificate, abandonment certificate. Um, we have a MSO, private title. You, you get tricked. They send it to the public. You get a certificate of title. Um, there's private law. There's public law. There's private citizen in public law describing the private citizen and the lack of jurisdiction and there's public citizen the the holding the office of the artificial person um every single thing in this world has a public equivalent that they have created to make you think that that's the way to conduct yourself you could have a private business or an LLC or a corporation or a 501c3. But let me ask you a question. If there was only one way to get this done, why in the own, their own code they have to admit that those private entities, they have no jurisdiction over and you do not have to file a return over? Why do they admit that? It's because they have to. What belongs to God belongs to God. And so that element of public and private has to be determined for yourself. And one of the questions on the broker's exam is, are you required to record a transaction in the county recorder's office? And I thought I got this wrong, but I thought it was, yeah, you're required to. And the answer is, no, you're not. And that opened up a whole box of thinking. And I'm like, wait a minute. And then you go look up in Black's Law, counter deed. Go look it up. It's a private deed, unrecorded, that when presented to the public deed, trumps it. It's done. It's more powerful than the public side deed, a counter deed. Really. Everything in the private is more powerful than the public. Everything. Gold is way more powerful than a note. You know what I mean? Private versus public. School. Private schools. They don't have jurisdiction over home schools they don't have jurisdiction over private schools they have jurisdiction over schools they like charter schools they, there's a big initiative with the united states government right now trying to fund these charter schools so they can get jurisdiction over them private airports like fullerton airport it was a private airport before but they got a three million dollar grant from the federal government now the federal government's telling the private airport what to do think everything that's private is way more powerful than everything that's public. And it's the giving over your asset into the public, your MSO, and registering it with the Secretary of State. They will then return you a, a, a registration and a certificate of title. Isn't that interesting? You give your, you, you have to, listen to me, you have to give your MSO, Manufacturer Statement of Origin, or I'm going to show you mine without my information. MSO from Honda directly. You have to give your true title up to the DMV so that you can get a fake title called certificate of title. Certificate of title, not title. Certificate of title. True title is the manufacturer's statement of the origin showing you where it was built, how it was built, when it was built, and, and doing it on 32 pound watermark banknote paper showing the bond. This is, it's, it's true title. And then you're taking that and then you're registering it with the state. You're giving it to the state. You're giving your possession. When you take cash, you know, I saw this movie the other day where this guy, great movie, I don't remember the name, but he, he found a big gold 
thing and he went through hell to get it to the bank but that's what gold miners did back in the day they walked into a bank dirty as all get out and then they poured all their gold on the counter and they said bills please that's what happened in the days of old today we don't do that today you got to go to special dealers that are willing to give up cash for your gold at certain rates the point i'm trying to make is that bill of exchange was more important to him than the gold, even though gold was more powerful back then, because that's what all banks use. Believe it or not, they're, they're using some form of asset. Currently it's you again, private versus public. So you want to keep your MSOs. You want to keep your gold. You want to keep your, um, your digital currency on your own private ledgers. You don't want it to be deposited in exchange. You don't want your cash to be deposited in a, in a bank. You want your cash out. You want to buy private food, private gold, private land. You don't want any of that stuff that's on the public side. And then there's guys that use the debt operation of law against the federal government by getting certain kinds of credits uh, for low-income housing and doing things that the federal government wants to do to keep people in debt. Why don't we just obey the word of God, the Bible? Stay debt-free. Don't be collateral for anybody and, and, and watch what happens. It, you, you're protected when you don't pledge yourself to the debt of the corporation by pledging yourself to holding the office of the artificial person. I know I'm not going to explain that. What is the artificial person? I'll make a video on that. But this is critical stuff in critical times. And all I know is I don't want any, after seeing court case after court case, they're always having to prove jurisdiction. And how are they going to have jurisdiction if you're private? They just aren't. Therefore, you're not going to get an indictment. Therefore, you're not going to. But I guarantee if somebody does, it's going to be something that they did on the public side. It's, it's not going to be something they do on the private side. God bless you guys. Thank you for listening. And